Worldwars.eu is a multilingual platform for sharing artifacts from World War I and World War II. On entering the archive, you will see a series of multimedia artifacts which have been created and curated by pupils and shared through the platform. Initially, you will see six artifacts, and by clicking on Load More, you can load another six artifacts. You can also hold down Shift and click to load all of the artifacts available in the archive. At the top of the page, you will see one, all and two. This allows you to filter to the content only from the First World War, Second World War, or you can view both wars together. We also have a universal search box, so you can type in a search word or a search term, and this will show you all of the content, which includes that word. Every piece of media has a title, a short description, and some tags. And by clicking on one of those tags, you can then filter to content which is only that particular type of media. So for example, in this case, I clicked on 3D model, and now I'm seeing all of the 3D models which have been shared on the platform. You can interact with each of the pieces of media directly from the archive. So for example, looking more closely at these binoculars from World War I. But you can also interact with all of the different types of media, such as a video, by simply clicking on it and playing. Or perhaps viewing an image more in more detail. We also have uh, available timelines, uh, comparative slider images, looking at pictures from the past and pictures from today. Um, story maps, even tweets can be embedded into the worldwars.eu platform. As well as seeing this quick view on the archive, each piece of media has more detail added to it by the pupil. So for example, if I open up one of these particular pieces of media, then I can see the image itself, but I can also see information that's been added by the pupil, particular to this image. In this particular case, they've added it in English and in Italian. Here is another example where we have a short piece of text only available in English because this was only uploaded in English. You will also see that we have a QR code below each piece of media. This allows anybody to scan the QR code and then this piece of media will instantly open up on their phone or tablet. So if you wanted to add an artifact, you would simply log in and go to My Artifacts, click New, and then you're presented with a very simple form where you could add a title, a short description, add in some tags. In this case, this is about the trenches of World War I. Change the category to World War I. Insert the link to the media. In this case, I'm going to add a video to YouTube. And we can see the video showing there. And then we need to add the description. Uh, the description can be in the local language of the piece of media, but we ask people to also add a description in English as well. In this case, the video is only in English, so I'm only going to add a description in English. We then simply click Save and Close, and then our media then is available on the archive. And by opening it, we can then see extra detail, the description, and the QR code linking us to that piece of media, which of course I can play in the window here, or I could open up in YouTube itself. In addition to the archive, we also have collections. Collections are like micro stories or mini projects. So if I open up this collection here, you will see that this collection is a summary of different objects from World War I. And then below it, this user has curated various objects from World War I and displays them together. So the idea of these micro projects are that pupils will curate different pieces of media, different artifacts which either they have added or other people have added to worldwars.eu and then they will add the description and the explanation for this mini project uh, to the collection. Worldwars.eu is also the hub for the other project resources. So 
We also have the lesson plans, the guidelines, and the toolkits available here. Worldwars.eu is also a social platform. So we have a social uh, area, and this is our community where I can interact with other people that I'm friends with on the platform. I can see updates on the pieces of media, for example, this piece that we just added now. Um, I can also share other videos or the images directly to the community. Worldwars.eu is available in five different languages. So you can start sharing your artifacts on worldwars.eu now by simply registering and then logging in.